Hello and welcome to this week's Reflex Piazza Facebook reaction. Got loads of photos to get to this week. You guys have been busy, so let's just jump straight into it with this one from Look Love. The sweeping lines of the mountains here, either side. Love the way the sun's catching the snow here and all the little crevices in the mountain. Brilliant. The sky, this looks like the back of a bald man's head, the way it's doing all this <laughs> stuff. Brilliant. Absolutely gorgeous. Take me there, please. Where is it? Canada. Oh, no, not going there. <laughs> Next, Johnny, Johnny Say. With, I mean, just very, very captivating, mesmeric photo. You know, I love the way that this water is long exposure it's motion blurred so you don't get distracted all your attention is focused on these lines here which is very captivating very just like yeah you're just drawn to it top stuff where were you what was this situation you must have been on a must have i, I don't even know but great capture johnny well done i'm here for, oh okay wow these clouds look like jumping sheep, don't they? This mountain does not look like the back of a bald man's head. It looks like, uh, I don't even know. But I love it. I love the post-processing here. This this is, I think it's a minute. But these clouds must have been going really slowly because usually you expect more motion blur from that over a minute. But the same thing as the last mountain uh, photo, the way that the sun is catching all the little textures and details on the mountain side there. And is this like a settlement down here? Brilliant. Love it. So I just find these types of things. What is this over here? I just find these types of things so romantic. Like actually just the thought of being to go into these places with like for just using like a metaphor, a blank roll of film, if you like, and just Fill it up with images. Love it. Well done. And this photo is purely here for its location. I mean, I have never been to Switzerland, but even before I saw this, I was thinking, this looks like Switzerland, and it is. It's just, whoop, okay, nope, I've pressed something. Ignore that. What did I press? QR code. Okay, interesting. Anyway, yeah, look at this. I mean, can you ask for a better location than that? I don't think you can. One day I will go. I've heard it's expensive, but it looks worth it. Absolutely. This one is very interesting. This one looks like it's got this <laughs> this CRT look. The way the 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 inner shadow around the edges here makes it look like it's 3D, like an old CRT used to look. And the image is like raised up off the screen it's it's interesting it's uh not seen it before and i don't think it would work for every image but it works here i like it because these this looks almost like it's you're looking at it through glass as well so it adds to the effect and i don't know if it's a long exposure or just how the water is in this photo but mint it looks mint the colors the contrasting textures. I like it. Well done, Duncan. Next, we've got Andy Green from just yesterday, actually. In fact, when are these photos? 23 hours ago. So these are all very recent. Seven hours ago. What about this one? An hour ago. Wow. Okay. Great. Not getting ahead of myself. So we have this one from Andy Green. Andy features a few times. And this is all just all about the warm tones. Really nice. I think it's just two seconds and just like, what else can you say? Really? It looks like when I first saw this photo, when I was selecting them for this week's reaction, I thought of Tatooine from Star Wars. That's, uh, I don't know why, just the desert. It, lo it looks like the desert with water on it. It's, it's weird, but nice. Well done, Andy. And next, so this one is apparently the Lloyds Building in London. I don't know what that is, but it's interesting. It looks very industrial. It looks very 
like something from Britain, maybe like I don't know. Either f it, it looks like it could be from both the past and the future. It's a very very unique look, as but definitely from this angle. I don't know if this is how it looks all the time from every angle, but what I found interesting is it's it's a reheld image, right? from nine seconds and reheld is processed and the way the the during the processing it will do is some noise reduction and on metal on metallic surfaces it can smooth them out and give them this like cgi look and you don't always want that but here it works uh, it's about knowing what f which formats how each format behaves and what they're going to do and how they're going to affect your image and with these textures, it works really well. I love the reflections in, is this metal or glass? Looks like metal. Yeah, very reflective anyway. I love the reflections of the, of the sky. Very interesting image, lots of variety that this week. You'll see we've got a city, we've, we've got a, a beach, we've got an, another harbor, not really. <laughs> Got a beach, a harbour, a quayside, a gangway. <laughs> Loads of variety there, Dave. Mm. You'll get you'll see what I mean as we go on. So I think we haven't skipped any. Yeah. So if we have to react to a, a Scott Baker photo, I suppose it's gonna have to be this one. This is very interesting, probably done by accident, because Scott's not that great. Uh, but if you look here at the textures, just like we were saying earlier about the CRT, it's like you can, it looks 3D. This has very much like a 3D image look. And the way that you can, the way that the light is lighting up this wet sand, you can feel the squelchiness of it. It's, it give, kind of gives me the EBGBs looking at it, but it's, I can't not look at it, but I don't want to look at it at the same time. It looks like, almost looks like a dinosaur skeleton buried in the, in the, sand and being submerged in the water it's a weird situation going on down here and i couldn't stop looking at it so much that i haven't even noticed this is a long exposure up here as well so <laughs> very very nice jokes aside well done scott there we go i haven't got my banter siren this week because it, it's up there being used as a as a, as a background light so you'll have to decipher when i'm joking or not which for some of you can be quite hard so we have some cool macro photos here from Eric and this is like really cool. Don't know where in you where in the world you are, Eric, that you've got flowers at this time of year. But I've noticed some starting to bloom around me as well. So hopefully I'll be able to do some macro as well going forward over the next few weeks. And yeah, just love I think you say it was yeah, macro 10x lens. Photo Mater. I'm seeing a lot of this Photo Mater. I don't know what it is, but a few people have been mentioning it recently. So well done, Eric. I like that. Drop you a love heart. Right. Andy Green is back again. If you ignore the loving between him and Scott in the description here about monkeys and monkeys nuts or monkeys huts or whatever the heck they're talking about, it's a nice photo. <laughs> Fortunately, Andy, I'm sorry to hear you had a rubbish day at work, dude, but I'm happy to hear that you got some sort of, not respite, I don't know. You, I, Do you use photography as like a sanctuary after a bad day? That's what it sounds like you did here anyway. Really nice image. When you have a bad day and you go out and you don't take any photos, it can just make it worse. <laughs> but here you obviously did. So well done, dude. I like it. And I don't think, oh yeah, oh, 14 Pro nice well done on a, on the upgrade there oh, congratulations on the upgrade there okay this is very interesting this is reflex g series wide angle lens reheld app and there's a lot of debate in the comments as to how it how it was done and people theorizing and stuff like that you're all way way overthinking it <laughs> is reheld this is that simple you just hold the phone and you tap the shutter and i think he mentions it was four seconds and that's it that the people will move and if you don't move you won't move and that's what i've done here and i can't take a picture like this because he said a friend took it so you need, you need friends for that 
But nice. Yeah, really, really creative stuff. Love to see it. Love to see it. I've never seen other mobile photographers or G-series lens users out in the wild. I'd love to walk, come across someone in a crowd taking this sort of stuff. And this is the one time where, or one of the few times where a crowd has actually helped to where it was usually you're like, oh, crowds, go away. I'm trying to take this photo. But no, you've used them to your advantage here. I like it. Well done, Michael. So, oh, uh, uh, that's my reaction to that. <laughs> Just, uh, uh, yeah, good and insightful. Wow, it's just, uh, where to even start? G-Series, Fisheye, the, I, this looks disused because it's all rusty, but I could be wrong. The way the sun is catching the, the, the structure here, this looks like a painting with these these textures and these these colors and the, again the way the light's hitting hitting them looks like the sun is coming from this side coming in this angle this direction and at first when I saw this image before I didn't even notice these clouds in the sky again it, it looks like a painting but in a good way sometimes uh, certain processing can make photos look like paintings in a not so good way this it really works it, it seriously does what i mean every inch of the photo i have questions about like and i have i just want to explore the whole thing i mean th th this can't be the only photo you you took here dan this looks like a everywhere you look there's just composition after composition uh, stunning i think this might be my favorite photo of the whole week well done dan Love it. And Andy's back. And why? Green. And he's talking about me. What's he saying? Something bad. I, if I, I So I need to work out if Dave Dyson has actually banned me. Well, I did, but, you know, I felt sorry. I felt a bit of sympathy for you after, you know, you said you had a bad day. So I'll let you back in and drop you a love heart as well. No. I care. A hug. Here, right, when you look at this water here, you can hear, or you can you can almost hear, the sounds of the water dragging all the pebbles along the beach and back into the dark abyss of the ocean. You all know that sound if you've been to a pebbled beach. I love stony beaches. Some, some people don't like them. I love them. They are great. Full of textures, little shapes and colours as well. Even when you're not doing photography, it's just great to just go and enjoy those shapes and colors and and things like that and Andy's taking full advantage here in this photo we got the white streaks it looks like the water's like reaching out and like grabbing and pulling the pebbles glorious well done Andy nice and another great macro shot this time of a bee's bum but that's okay or a what yeah a bee <laughs> Love the detail on the wings. Love, again, the way the light is catching off light. <laughs> One minute I'm looking at the, the light catching off the top of a mountain. Here I am looking at the light catching off the hair on a bee's back. It's, it's great. There's so much variety in this week's crop of photos. This bees are being very busy and I hope to... I mean, one more thing. The way, just to get this close... I know, I know it's a long range macro lens, but you start to get close and it's all about timing. These little creatures move around so fast. You probably use a very, very high shutter speed for this. And just to have the nerve to not get jumpy. I don't know when I see macro shots of bees and wasps and things or whatever they are, I just like get really jumpy when I try and do them. And <laughs> if you see anything that, of a bee from me, it was, it was probably a fluke. <laughs> but these, this is really, really cool. Again, it looks like not quite a painting. It looks like a 3D paint painting. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it's nice. Well done, Julian. So we have to react to another Scott Baker photo, but it's not so bad. So <laughs> uh, I love the way the foam or whatever you call this white stuff in the water, I don't know, is like spread 
throughout and it's just like contrasting against the darker areas of the water we've got a lot of sun catching on areas and creating interest and shape and texture in this week it's 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 so nice just to you just imagine again you, you can almost hear the waves crashing here there's actually another one as part it's either yeah here it is look at that isn't that cool i mean even though it is scott baker so he probably did it by accident but this is just so nice he probably had his ev to, to <laughs> Turned all the way down. I, I, I don't even know. Crank the EV, Scott. <laughs> or however you speak. With your Canadian accent, A. Eh? <laughs> Let's move on quick to another Canadian. Greggy, Greggy McMillan. With this looks like a real long exposure. Not one taken in, re-held or re-exposed where the frame averaged and interpolated and all that this looks like a real long exposure with the water here it looks like a one second or close to it shutter speed and it was indeed taken in reflex pro camera but i do not believe that the greg used the long exposure mode i believe he shot this in raw greg could be wrong please correct me if i am but you've done really top stuff that i can just see past my microphone to where the little arrow is. He's been out exploring this waterfall. So we've got a wider one here, a bit of a closer one. Then he goes in really close. And so this one was with reheld with some double tap technique. And the way that the snow is in the foreground. And even though the water is frozen, it, it works. You don't always have to do long exposure here because there's so much water. It probably looked a bit Maybe it looked a bit weird. I find that sometimes when there is such a sheer volume of water and it's not being broken up by different colours or there's not like a rock in the way to break it up, it can look too much. So maybe you found that happened for you, Greg. But this this works. This is amazing location. So well done. And if I can bring myself back here, thank you so much to everyone for watching. Thank you for going out, posting, capturing all these photos, posting them in the Reflex Piazza <laughs> Facebook group. And I will see you in the next one. Don't forget, the competition is still active, the Photographer of the Month competition. All you have to do is join the group, post your photos, and I'm going to choose the winner at the end of the month. And that's it. Have a great week, and I'll see you in the next one.